The Warner Roy Adventures of Thomas the Tank Engine, Episode 60, Vicious Vickerstown Villain. Special thanks to Diesel Engine Productions for suggesting this episode's title. Sir Topham Hell was talking to Richard at Napford Station where Spank and Paxton rushed in. Sir, said Paxton, something's happened to Charlie. He never made it to Napford this morning with the aquarium cars, and we found the brake van of his train near the drawbridge. Top had to go for. Okay, you say that something's happened to Charlie? Yes, Paxton. So basically, Charlie's gone missing. That's right, said Paxton. <laughs> Thank goodness, said Patriot. But secretly, he was really worried about Charlie. The trucks had overheard the conversation and they were worried about Charlie as well. Only because they were the only ones that thought that Charlie's jokes were funny. Harry and Wallace, however, were more worried about Wally. Wally was to be dropped off on Charlie's way to Napper, said Harry. And if Charlie didn't make it past the Bakerstown Bridge, then he didn't get to the point where he was supposed to drop off Wally, said Wallace. So that means Wally has gone missing too, said Harry. Sir Topham Hatt took Richard away to talk to him. Alright Richard, he said. Too many engines have gone missing. First Gruff, then Samson, and now Charlie. We're gonna need a new engine to fill in for some of these missing ones. I want you to pick this one. Oh, but sir, said Richard Hatt. The last time I got an engine to fill in for one of ours, things went totally wrong. Yes. Sure, Randall caused a lot of trouble to Tom Hatt, but I'm sure you'll make a better decision this time. Alright, said Richard, still unconvinced. Paxton and Spankhand moved out of the way till Patriot could leave the station. Barry began to leave the station, but then he stopped. He looked over towards the museum, and he noticed that something was missing. Sir, said Barry, the golden statue of Thomas is missing from the museum. What? cried Sir Topham Hatt. He hurried over to take a look. Fistling fireboxes, the statue is missing. It should be right there on that piece of track. Well, that's just great, said Richard. Now we have three missing engines, a missing freight car, three missing aquarium cars, and a missing statue. That statue is the museum's greatest exhibit. For all we know, Sir Topham Hatt could be the next one missing, said Barry. Don't say that, Barry, said Sir Topham Hatt. Now come on, get going, you're running late. And Barry raced away. Splinter and Stafford were now very worried and concerned. The next day, Charlie's replacement arrived. The engine stared in awe at the new engine that laid before them. It's a diesel rail car, said Daisy. I didn't know there were any others out there. Well, there are more diesel rail cars out there, said the blue engine. My name is Mason. Well, nice to meet you, Mason, said Ryan. My name's Ryan, that's Stafford over there. I'm Thomas, that's Splinter, this is Daisy, and over there is Sydney. Just then, Richard walked up. You must be the new engine, he said. Yes, my name is Mason, said Mason. Okay then, Mason, said Richard. You'll be working in Vickerstown front for a while. Alright, said Mason. Richard stepped out of the way, and Mason began to pull forward, but he didn't give Thomas any time to back up, and he bumped Thomas into a signing, and Thomas smashed into some freight cars. A crate of paint cans spilled on Thomas, covering him in red, green, and yellow paint. Whoops, sorry about that, Thomas, said Mason. I guess I didn't give you any time to back up. My mistake, sorry, and Mason hurried away. 
As Mason left, Splinter eyed him suspiciously.